Hello, my name is Tega, Tega Dubeji, and I live in Ireland. I want to um, wish Pastor Sunday Adelaja happy 50th birthday coming. Yeah, I'm one of his family, DSA family online. I met Pastor Sunday Adelaja um, sometime in August 2016. And when I stumbled upon his message on Facebook, I, it was just one that attracted me. That was the one I saw. It's tight, only meant for the church. And when I listened to it, mm, when I listened to just one of his messages, I was hooked. You know, I, I became like, you know, the, the merchant in the Bible that was looking for choice pearl. And when he got, when he found one, he sold everything he had to buy it. That was, that was how addicted I was. I was hooked on the messages. And I went to sundiadelajablog.com and I went to the video sections. And mine, oh mine, I downloaded every message into my head. I, was, I became an addict to the messages. I was walking with the message on my, on my phone and my ears. I was lying down with the message. I was taking care of my house shows with the message. I was going to work with the message. The message was all over me. I found the missing link to my Christianity that I was practicing. I've been a Christian for a long time, but I knew that something was not really right with the way we were practicing Christianity until I stumbled into Dr. Sondia Adelaja's teaching and my life has never remained the same. I was so hungry for the information he was dishing out. I was so hungry for all the messages I was listening to. I was I was that addicted that I just when I heard that there was HMT coming up, I just told my husband that look honey, we are going to Ukraine. <laughs> I never cared. I've never been to Ukraine before. I've never I don't I, I've never thought in my wildest dream that anything would take me to Ukraine until I listened to his messages. I said we are going to HMT. And when I came back from HMT, my life has never been the same. I'm a new person in Christ. I now know so much about those questions that I could not get answers to. Why are we here? What is our purpose on earth? I now realize that I was even in the wrong field. I discovered through his teaching my purpose, my calling. I discovered that I don't, I don't just have to know it, I have to be the best. And I've decided and I'm registering to go and do my master's and my PhD on my field, which is youths. I just, I realize how, how we've, I've wasted so much of my time when I listen to his time series and his time and conversion series. I realize that all the frivolities all over my life that I needed to cut off. I became a new person. I listened to his, his teaching on prayers and my low prayer life changed. I realized that I've been such a pagan in the way I pray. I changed my prayer life and I became, my prayer life became a, a relational prayer. Wanting to know my father, wanting to reflect him, gazing at him and beholding him like a mirror. My prayer life changed and I begin to, as I begin to pray and to know more about him and to be able to better reflect him, how he wants me to walk on this earth, where he wants me to walk, how he wants me to go about it. My prayer life completely changed. When I see people praying all those egocentric prayers, I just stand these days and I just look at them. The ones I can talk to, I talk to. Because I know that God, God, he said, he knows all those our needs even before we ask for them. And yet, day in, day out, those are the prayers that were coming out of our church. Egocentric prayers, egocentric prayers. Nothing about the heart cry of the Father. Nothing about how, how we should, how we should, how, how his will should be done on earth. Nothing about how we are going to reflect him. No wonder we are so ineffective in changing our society. So ineffective in even changing our communities. I went to Ukraine and oh man, I was sold out. I saw, I saw a system, a Christian society that worked. I saw the effects that the church has, the members have on their society. I saw all the recovering addicts and how they, between in 18 months, they already having a goal, a vision. They were already leaders. I saw the power of God when you remove tradition. 
And I just realized what it means that because of your tradition, you've made the word of God of no effect. I have, we have really made the word of God of no effect because of our tradition. I so much fell in love with his teaching and everything he represented. He taught on parenting and my life and my children's life changed. And I realized that I've just been bringing them up in hope and just prayers without action. And I became a constructive parent. I studied about faith and I realized what it means for us to, for us even to have faith unto death. And I say, what am I even looking for? What am I fighting for? If I Paul says to live is Christ and to die is gain, and I realize what that means. Right now, I'm so focused on just God and meeting and doing his will. I'm so focused on just making, making history myself. And I just thank God for meeting him. And I pray that his life will continue to shine. That he's a, he's a living legend. And we will still need more of him, more of him with us. Because we know that with him teaching, us and teaching us we are going to be better and better champions and history makers wherever we are and so pastor sunday adelijah happy 50th birthday to you may god bless you 